Hey guys, my name is Frybro, and welcome to First Winter. This is a game that reminds me a lot of Umfend, and I am in love with Umfend only because of the anime girl lady. This game takes place in a submarine way underwater, uh, where no matter how long or how long you scream, <laughs> how loud you scream, no one will ever hear you. Jay actually sent me a message, and I kind of looked at it a while ago, and I was like, Meh and he kind of pushed me to play it because now he suggested it. And I've always been fascinated by like this kind of stuff. I don't know, what if the sun disappeared? Like space and like coincidences and the, hey, Vsauce, Michael here. That, those kinds of videos. So I'm really excited what this game will bring me. So come on, bring me stuff. I have to watch this load. Los Angeles, USA, 16th of April, 1982. Whoa my footsteps okay is this <laughs> this is a pretty jazzy <laughs> submarine oh yeah I remember that band kajig uh -huh. <laughs> Soviet sub takeover this is kind of unsettling no uh, no so loud or maybe don't bring me things maybe I can just live here forever yeah, the ants are having a a rave in the wall. Wow, memories all coming back. Okay, <laughs> I don't. Lo Who is that? Is that my lover? Uh, and I turn it off. So stereo. G103.7. We'll get back to the music no. right away. But I do have some breaking oh, news this afternoon coming out of the White House. White the House. U.S. Navy is reporting it's intercepted a Soviet submarine in the North Pacific. Super. The suspicious vessel was first spotted around 120 nautical miles west of Los Angeles. A senior United States Navy officer has described the nuclear power submersible as being provocatively close, which does not sound good, and it's currently unknown if the vessel is equipped with nuclear weapons. The Soviet Minister for Foreign Affairs has denied any provocation and insists that the submarine is in international waters and therefore has no obligation to abandon its routine exercises in the area. So we'll give you more on this situation as and when we get it. But now let's get right back into the music right now on WNG 103.7. Ah! Nothing to worry about. <laughs> what, what is this guy saying? Oh, it's just a gif of him. It's like... It was a gif of him dancing to the music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, and so, sorry if it's like really, really loud. I kind of want it to be, though. <laughs> it's in my house. Yeah! Yes, I remember this part of my house. Ooh! Where's the back? I want the rest of the house. A cassette tape. Ryan, this is your tape. Oh. There is nothing intrinsically Sorry. wrong with being in a location if your actions in that place cause no harm or intimidation. I guess. I'm a not problem doing may occur, wrong. on the other hand, if one is considered a threat whilst occupying such a vicinity. The mother will risk her life to chase away anything should she perceive a risk to her car. You're not comforting! Am I gonna meet that guy on the tapes? In real life? Okay, let's play wait. Be different! Oh, <laughs> oh no. Ah! I have no- <clears throat> No! Stop that door! With the wind. They're, they're all coming against me. Ah! Oh! oh. Uh, black goop. Uh, don't fill up, please. Ah! Oh. Now I'm in the submarine. Oh. Oh. Smoke detector. It's not a smoke detector. Is there anything wrong with this place? Ew! To you, too. Uh, I don't know if something's there. All the colors, they just mix. I don't like the submarine grumbles. <laughs> oh, do I have to match the the voice? Ah! Oh, I do! Okay, okay, remember it? 
Don't let anything distract you. <laughs> no. Okay. Nothing happens. <laughs> grumble, grumble. What? Kind of glad I can't open that. No, it's not. It's. <laughs> Forget so easily. <laughs> ah, it was close. Uh. Ah! Let me out. I just had to say those words. <laughs> those nice words. Loose lips. Okay. I <laughs> might sing shifts. What's that supposed to mean? You're making fun of my lips? Like, oops. Ah! Ooh, the second tape. Picked up a cassette tape. I need to find that table. To retreat and save face, especially in the theater of war has been a perplexity as old as conflict itself. I have to stay near The child may well tidy his room, but not directly after a dressing down. Left to his own How do you know what my room looks like? ...to decide for himself. Or at least to appear to do so. <laughs> ah! What? I want to float too. No. It just says on the wall, you can't float. I can't see. My eyes are ending. <laughs> Don't stare at the wall. Okay. Much better. Thank you. It's barocketed. Ah! <laughs> what? Where'd that water come from? It's Ryan, the one you scare. Something appears to be holding it shut. The other me. Not anymore. Why were you holding it shut and then when I walked away you didn't? Squish, squish, squish. Did you? I'm a little weak in the knees after that. Ooh, a tape. Give me table. Or stairs. <laughs> Long, ling, ling, ding, ding, blink, 182. If a subordinate shows disobedience, then naturally he will need to be disciplined. Yes. Standing by a subordinate's rash decision, however, is even more important. You should never allow the other side to suspect mutiny. If the viability of the product is compromised, then the reputation of the corporation will surely fall. Help! Ah. Ah. Stop it! Poke. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take this. Doesn't look like you're gonna listen to it. Fourth tape! Stop! Ah, stop! Don't follow me. I had to just make room. I was turned b behind the other way. I didn't see what happened. God damn it. <laughs> Things change so much. I can't keep up with it. Ryan's getting old. Ah! Moscow. Ah! Goodbye, Moscow. <laughs> Los Angeles. No! Not Los Angeles. New York. No! I love New York. I love. I love all these places, but not New York. What does it say? Lou, but I didn't even get to read it. Nope, not New York. You're not destroying New York. Jontron's there. I don't want to destroy him. 
and I want to go there for Christmas sometime. Ah, squeeze me. Uh, I'm singing along to the thing. Uh, ooh, is that a guy? Do you know what's going on? Why you're there? Ah, don't. <laughs> Don't! I know you gotta... I don't know! I don't know what you're gonna do, but I know you're gonna do it! Ah! Stop the squeaks! I'm getting the submarine crazy. How long is this corridor? Never mind. I didn't ask that. That was a another voice. <laughs> Hi, out of place door. Oh, I guess uh, well, I guess I gotta keep myself occupied. I guess I'll just twiddle my thumbs and look dead inside until something happens. You can't keep me in here. Get that thing away from my daughter. I've watched uh, Detroit Become Human. I really want to play that. I want to do Sunset Overdrive because I've never touched that game ever. But it's uh, it's really bouncy and fun, and the whole plot is a juice store or something like that. And you just go and bounce around and do missions. But it's also a thing like my PS4 is downstairs. So and and so like when my family gets home, my my family's going to be a family and and live in the house. <laughs> so I, I don't know if I can record downstairs. Maybe it'll be funny that they interrupt me or something like that. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, child. I will get it figured out sometime and I will have videos for you guys. Well, not if I'm stuck here forever. <laughs> Did I make a mistake? Oh, Saturday sun. I met someone out on the west coast. Gotta get back. I can't let this go. Oh, Saturday sun. Ah! I don't want to look. The tailgate is the situation in which further action or progress by opposing parties seems impossible. The deadlock cannot be broken for fear of one side or the other losing everything and gaining nothing. Ah. The knot can be loosened, however, if both sides become better informed of the other party's situation. More often than not, though, neither side will want to show their hand before the other, and thus the stalemate continues. None of you get up. None of you be creepy! Is there something you guys would like to... Talk to me about? Did I do something wrong? Is it the shirt? It's the shirt, isn't it? I'm just gonna. Ah! Oh! Thank you. <laughs> You're all very kind. Ah, goodbye now. This is very well made. And I like how the, the pacing and like the creepy stuff it keeps you on your toes. Going up the stairs. Whoa. Thumbprint scan. Take my thumb. I <laughs> mean. Oh. Yay. Hear those bubbles? Now that means I have the right thumb. <laughs> oh, that guy's still there. Oh, I thought that was an exclamation point over his head. <laughs> Ah, I like those occasional naked ladies. They keep me safe. Oh, I can get that bottle. Empty bottle. Oh. Oh! No. I spilled the I spilled the wine. White wine. They're not gonna be happy about that. Well, I am lost. Uh, I think this game is only like 20 minutes, 25. Uh, so I think I'll finish it in the next episode. I really like this. Sorry to break the immersion. I think I might have done that a couple times in this video. <laughs> but uh, I love playing games like this, especially these ones. They have a really good vibe to it and they always have stuff to keep you on your toes and have like the perfect puzzles to keep you occupied. And just because it's like so pixely that it almost looks real and then like you don't know what's happening until it's really close to you i really like that kind of stuff so thank you all so much for watching share with a friend and i hope to see you in the next one so bye for now see you soon uh, didn't let me in